Tia the Southern Rose. Thank you so much for stopping into my little corner of the internet today. I appreciate your time and I hope you're having a great day or evening wherever you are. So it is autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere and where I live in the Mid-Atlantic, it's a particularly gorgeous time of year. We have lots of trees that lose their leaves and that along with the crisp air and shorter days just makes for a really stunning time of year. Now, funny enough, this is not my favorite time of year. I prefer the warmer months of the summertime. However, I cannot deny the beauty of the autumn season, especially when I walk outside of my doors and I see gold and red leaves everywhere. It's fantastic and it is such a treat to live in a neighborhood where there are many trees and there are so many gorgeous color changes that I can see as I go about my day. So many of us have been limited in what we can do and how far we can go because of COVID. And unfortunately, we had to go into our normal winter activities a little early. The things that we normally save for those cooler months, many of us engaged them in the summertime because we were at home and bored. Now that we are experiencing the cooler months, we might be wondering, well, what can we do while we're inside? What I did was create tea recipes. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm a bit of a blend master or blend mistress, and I specialize in herbal tea blends, which are technically not teas, they are tisanes. And I make um, different combinations that I like to use in order to treat certain things in the body. Certainly not a doctor, but I am an herbalist. So I look at not just the flavor, but the health benefits of certain herbs as well. This recipe that I'm sharing today is fantastic. It is inexpensive and it captures a lot of the emotions and flavors of fall. It's warm, it's comforting, it's perfect to drink in the evenings as you unwind. And the herbs that I selected to put in here are so easily um, accessible no matter where you live for the most part. In fact, you could make this entire recipe with items that cost one US dollar a piece. You might even be able to find all of the ingredients at a local Dollar Tree, definitely at a Dollar General or Family Dollar store. So I am hoping you will enjoy it. I'll give you all of the proportions and more information in the description box. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them for me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and I will be sharing that recipe in a moment. Thanks. So here are the ingredients that you will be needing for this tea. I got everything for $1 a piece and all of the ingredients and even the tools as far as the spoons came from the Dollar Tree with the exception of the sage, which I obviously got from Kroger Grocer. Also though, it was a dollar, so it's still within the same price range as everything else on the tray. So for starters, this box of chamomile tea was at the Dollar Tree. There are 20 bags. However, if you empty the bags, you will find that each bag has approximately a half a teaspoon of chamomile in it. So if you want to make a nice batch of tea that lasts you for a little while, you will need to dump out each of the bags. You will have to empty the contents of each bag along with adding the additional ingredients in order to create enough tea to last you for a week or two. So first, you would empty out all the chamomile bags. When you empty them out, you'll have about four tablespoons worth of chamomile. And then for the ground cinnamon, you're going to use about one and a half teaspoons. And I will convert these over to metric measurements in the description box. So don't worry if you're not familiar with teaspoons and tablespoons. So again, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg because nutmeg can quickly get overpowering, but it's a nice earthy flavor and it has a slight sweetness to it that I enjoy and half a teaspoon of ground sage. You can always add a little more. Sage is especially powerful in this recipe. Sage is a known nervine, so it's fantastic for helping to calm the nervous system 
and it's inexpensive and it gives a really nice grounded taste to this tea. Along with these items, you're going to take your freeze-dried apple slices and crumble them up. If you have a mortar and pestle, great. However, this could be crumbled easily by putting the contents into a Ziploc bag and crushing it with your hand or using a rolling pin. And when you finish combining the ingredients, again, the full contents of the box of chamomile tea, one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, half a, not tablespoons, teaspoons, my apologies, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon or more of sage, and about half a teaspoon of nutmeg, along with the full bag of apple slices, you will get something like this at the end. If it looks a little different from what you were expecting, I use a different brand of chamomile. This is before I found the chamomile in the Dollar Tree. I ordered my chamomile online, and this is um, the chamomile along with the apple slices. As you can see, they're still pretty chunky. I didn't grind them up too fine. Um, the apple slices have become coated with the cinnamon and sage and nutmeg. So they don't look like this fresh out of the pack. They are usually kind of white with a yellowish tint, but by the time they rolled around in the other ingredients, they got coated. And then all you have to do is to add about a tablespoon, maybe a little more to your tea bowl or your um, disposable tea bags and then add boiling hot water and let it steep for about five minutes and add your sweetener. I like to add a maple sugar or honey and it tastes absolutely divine. So that is it for the recipe. Again, I'll put all of the details in the comments and in the description box below. So that's it for the recipe. I hope you all enjoy and have fun making it. Like I said, it's very inexpensive. Most of the ingredients you can get from a local Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Family Dollar. And you can easily recreate this recipe for five US dollars plus tax if you go to the right places. Um, and you can make a lot of tea with it once you have the ingredients. So I hope you all again have a great day or evening wherever you are. And I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.